Hello and welcome to Birmingham in the UK for the 2015 SIVA Welfare Awards. As the name suggests, this magnificent evening celebrates all that's best of animal welfare here in the UK. Uh, it gives me enormous pleasure, as it does every year, to welcome you all here. Uh, this is probably the best, best night of the year. This is the fourth year of the awards. Um, the first year we just tested the water with a lunch, but this year was probably the best event we've ever had. I think the event is terrific. Um, we love to be involved in anything that showcases the work that vets do. Um, there's an awful lot of brilliant vets out there. Um, and the fact that this is showcasing uh, the welfare work that they do, we just sort of thought we, we really needed to be a part of that really. Well as you can hear and see behind me, the celebrations have begun because the SIVA Awards, the Welfare Awards for 2015 have been announced. So let's go out and meet some of the winners. Gwen has cared for and rehomed well over 3,000 rabbits and guinea pigs, nursing them back to health and finding them good homes to go to. I think the awards make other people aware of what you're doing and encourage the, the ordinary person to either look after their own animals better but also to help people who look after animals. And that is where I'm looking because, because of what I do, I have a group of friends that are second to none and I've also got the opportunity to have the animals to love. So yes, animal awards, ceremonies like this are extremely important. John's commitment to and compassion for animal welfare has been an unrelenting journey, but he says there is much more to do. We have uh, an animal shelter. I've been the president of that for more than a decade. Uh, and we're making a lot of progress in uh, trying to develop and stabilize it and have it so that it goes on. It's been going for 150 years. We want it to go on for another 150. So it's trying to transit it to uh, a state that we can use, you know, that will be good forever. Um, and to bring our animal welfare standards up to date. They change all the time. In my working life, they've changed considerably. Um, and that's great, and we have a long way to go. And the winner of Welfare Nurse of the Year is Hayley Walters. You need to have animals to be able to express themselves naturally as much as possible. You need to meet their psychological needs. It's very, very, very difficult to meet an animal's psychological needs in captivity. Slightly easier to do it for domesticated animals because we've bred those animals, we've chosen those genes and we've bred those animals to be able to cope in a man-made situation. Um, so accepting one health as a policy is fabulous but you need to accept that health includes mental health as well and that's where we've fallen down over many, many years. We've ignored the mental health of animals. On the 11th of September 2014, a criminal fire at Manchester Dogs Home cost the lives of dozens of dogs, leaving others injured and traumatised. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, the, the, the level of support that we've received since the tragedy in September has been something that we couldn't ever have contemplated and to be able to accept this award on behalf of the team at Manchester, on behalf of all the charities that helped and beyond um, and the public beyond is just a, a great way to be able to kind of say thank you to everybody. Looking at the, uh, the trials that Manchester has been through in the last year, obviously a very, very worthy, uh, worthy organisation and an organisation desperately trying to get themselves back onto their feet again. So it made absolute sense to want to support them uh, in the award tonight. Globally we're facing issues around farming that, that we're going to have to tackle together on a global scale. You know, antimicrobial resistance, infectious disease, diseases that can be passed between humans and animals. All of those things mean that we have to work together to deal with these issues. So it isn't a single issue and it isn't only about the health of the animal. Everything else that we do is going to impact on the lives that they lead and, and how they live those lives. The team were all really surprised to find out that we've been nominated as a finalist. It's been an extremely challenging few years to get to this point, so it was perfect um, recognition for all of the hard work the team had put into in terms of launching the project. Mickey Stevens founded the charity International Aid for the Protection and Welfare of Animals in 2009, based in the UK and Borneo. 
the rest of the team are fantastic and I really couldn't do this without them. The team in Borneo, the team in the UK, they they make this happen. Um, so they're over the moon, I'm over the moon and I think um, I would just say to anyone thinking about nominating a, a charity they're passionate about, do it because for the charity it makes such a difference to them and it just gives them that boost uh, and the team morale just to, to continue pushing forward. Melissa Lyshevsky works at The Brook, an international equine organisation based in London, but clearly isn't used to being interviewed by people. See, I'm used to interviewing animals. If you could wear a donkey suit, it'd be perfect. <laughs> that was the best offer I had throughout the filming. I think One Health is really the future of animal welfare because if we think of animal welfare and human welfare as something that's interlinked, then it is the best solution for both the animals and the people and I think it has the highest potential to make really sustainable improvements for the animals. The winner of the 2015 International Cat Care Welfare Award is Brigitta Kimentati from the Lithuanian charity PFAS. The most thing I'm enjoying doing my work is the less and less animal suffering and it's the main thing which keeps me motivating to do it. It's uh, and less and less animals every day to suffer and having better and better lives. Angela Humphrey has been championing the cause of abused, ill-treated and neglected animals for over 75 years. She has travelled all over the world, observing the extent of man's inhumanity to animals and tirelessly draws attention to their plight. I can only hope that over the next coming years we have more nominations. The standard remains the same because I can't believe it's going to get any better. And um, at the end of the day, the whole ethos of the awards is to champion those wonderful teams and individuals that their whole life is animal welfare at heart.